He's just too odd, man. I mean, we had dinner once. We went out for dinner. Yeah. He calls me up and he said, I said, what time? He called me up in the afternoon. He said, let's have dinner. I'll meet you there now. It's always now. It's like some <laughs> diva actress. And yeah. I said, what, you know, come on, what are you now? He says, let's have dinner. I said, well, I, I just had a hero sandwich. He said, all right, I'll meet you at 401. <laughs> 401. Guy's a mental case. He's like Rain Man. <laughs> so I said, 401. I said, then we were on the phone for an hour. I said, and we got up to 518. I said, all right. And it was this high profile thing in, on Rodeo Drive or one of those streets in Beverly Hills that, yeah. he, used, that he goes to a lot. He's, he's a regular guy, but he, he's Larry David. Yeah, he can he's, go wherever he wants. I, so can I, for that matter. So I got there an hour <laughs> early yeah. to pay the check. I said to the mate, hey, Mr. Lewis, how are you? Don't call me Richard, but listen, I'm paying for dinner. It's a Chinese restaurant. And he oh, says, it's probably Mr. Chow's. Probably. Okay. Great restaurant. And I yeah. said, and he says, oh, no, you can't pay. I went, what do you mean I can't pay? I can't, what do you mean I can't pay? No, Mr. David will be upset. I don't, I don't care about it. Then I did my, my Norman. What do you mean I don't care about him? He can't follow me. I can't follow him. He can't follow me. I can catch him. I can. So he says, no, we, we won't allow it. I said, what do you mean you won't allow it? It was a screaming match. This sounds like I an said, episode of Curb, by the way. Yes, and I said, take my credit card. So I sit down. Larry comes an hour late after this hour phone call, 416, 503, 518. He was like an, a Jewish airport controller, out of control. So he gets there, and I said, Larry, why don't we make believe it's 1972 and we're broke and we're all we care about is, is comedy and, and, uh, and, you know, and, and just our passion for our craft and, and whatever. And, he's, and he says, what do you mean? I don't want to mean what I mean. We used to go to a Chinese restaurant, cheap. I'd get soup. We'd split it. I'd get, what do you want, beef? All right, I'll get the shrimp. All right, don't take too much of my shrimp. Then we'll split it. It was like $5, okay? He says, we're not going to split anything here. I go, why not? You'll hurt the feelings of the chef. I said, I couldn't care less about the chef. I just, I'm hungry. He says, I know him. He's a personal friend. I went, you know, and now I'm worried about the, the check, okay? The chef comes out with 18 entrees on a turntable. <laughs> Big enough. We should have sent it to the Army and to the Navy and to the Marines and all, and to a third world country. The, we don't even have a discussion, Rich. The phone rings. Steve Martin, comedian, <laughs> of course. And he doesn't say goodbye. He gets up. He goes, I forgot I have it's poker night. And he leaves. <laughs> And he leaves me with a hundred thousand dollar bill <laughs> with this Chinese food that I couldn't even recognize. It looked like a peacock smoking a joint. I didn't even know what it was. This is an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I hope you do so. realize that. Wow, that, well, that's like straight out of what we would might might see on. Well, HBO he once left Sunday me. Night. He for I had a birthday. I wanted to give him a birthday present, and he loves the Yankees. I gave. I bought two. Rare Mickey Mantle cufflinks mm -hmm. and a, another Yankee memorabilia, and uh, I, I said, like, I don't. And I wrote him a letter how much he's meant to me. I know him, we were born in the same hospital, three days apart. Is that right? Yeah. This and it gets odder than that. We knew each other when we were teenagers and hated each other. We never saw each other until we became comedians, and we didn't know we were the same people twelve years before. And we almost had a, well, he doesn't think we had a fist fight, but I was ready to knock him down. <laughs> so, so I give him the gifts. Yeah. I said, I don't, I don't want to be at the table while you're reading this letter. It, I, it felt too, uh, like love, too much love. Yeah. So I said, let me go to the bathroom, read the letter. I want you to know what you mean to me. <laughs> so you, Richard Lewis, went to the bathroom while he read, I come back, he read this letter. He's already talking. up leaving the restaurant <laughs> saying, I got to go. I go, we haven't had, we didn't order yet. He says, my meat is running out. Now I'm not suggesting he's. I don't. I know he's wealthy, but, you know. But when you have that kind of money and his meat is running out, the guy should be institutionalized. And I'm. I'm allegedly one of his best friends. The whole thing sucks. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app. Don't have any memory on your phone? Let's start to delete some of those slow-mo videos you have. And you know which ones I'm talking about.